Hi everyone, welcome back. Shall we have a look at the progress on this little area that I created in the previous video? Let's have a look. So just a quick recap, this was all overgrown. We put a solar pump inside the antique pump. Got that running, cleared that out. And I've created a little board here. This project is ongoing, so it just extends really all the way around the garden. So we're gonna clean this up, get rid of the ivy. Eventually we will lay some more gravel down here. So yes, lots of ongoing projects. They can't all be started and finished in one video. It's just not possible. But yeah, we made great progress. We've got a good layer of mulch down here. So when you're putting mulch down, make sure it's you know really, really thick so it suppresses everything. Weeds that is. Yeah, we've got a few more plants to stick in. We've got a few thymes here. We could probably be planted in here somewhere. Just get rid of all this. Yeah. So we basically that ivy. I'm probably going to get Sam to give me a hand with this. Yeah. Now normally this time of year things slow down a little bit in the garden regarding the grass but because we've had so much rain everything has gone on you know leaps and bounds so got to keep on top of this yeah. trusty mower's still going we had a bit of a service this morning sent the spark plug still wouldn't run right so I tapped carburetor a little piece of wood and it started and away it went again so slight blockage how this is still going nobody knows so we just finish this off So as you guessed it, there's lots of maintenance to do when you've got a property like this. It's not just one acre of dead flat ground, lots of different areas, different levels. But hey, I like it that way, it's different. Okay, let's get back to the other job now. Hey, Sam will be out shortly to address this area. Me, I'm heading for the cottage. Okay, I'm going to continue working on the rear of the cottage. We've got to remove quite a bit of earth floor still. Got to dig down a trench. So yes, lots of digging. I've had to mix things up a little bit because I think I've probably overdone it a little bit with me back last time. So yeah, I've got to uh, just pace myself as you do with most jobs. So get started on this. So just to recap what I'm doing here. So what we've had to do is to dig it down, level the floor off, but by doing that, We've kind of come down to a point where we could undermine the wall, the, the integrity of the wall. So what I'm doing, digging down even further, putting a trench in, a gravel trench, and then building a retaining wall out of those solid pieces of stone with lime mortar. Then we're gonna build a heavy duty oak frame above that, and that will be a false wall. All of the services will go behind that. 
so you won't see anything on show. So that's the idea. So we get this removed. I'm having to do it in sections, can't do it all in one go because it will undermine, like I say, the base of this wall. So small sections, build the wall as I go along and then dig out some more until we come to the end. So while I'm getting set up, you can go and see what Sam's getting up to. And there she is, the one that works behind the scenes off camera. Hello. I'll get all the credit. <laughs> so you're doing the weeding in this area. Yeah, just tidying up a bit. Um, yeah. Pulling up some ivy that's overgrown and uh, trimming up the dead bits off of the plants that are still okay. And then maybe we'll put some new things in as well. A bit, a bit more colour and interest. Yeah. See, so these have got sort of quite... Uh, you haven't known, maybe I'll wire brush them up. Yeah. It'd be a bit too close to the plants to jet wash it off, so. Okay, yeah. I'll leave you to get on with that. Okay. Give us a shout when you're done. Will do. That's how you deal with weeds, you just bury them. <laughs> okay, Sam's just called time for a cold drink. Just made good progress here. What's this? Uh, an old planter. Uh, old sink. It's all about that. Oh, here comes the cold drinks. Lovely. So we take a seat over there. Much needed drink. We're not really in the shade here, but it's nice to have a sit down. We have got other shaded areas, haven't we, we can sit in. Yeah, different times of the day. Yeah, it's important when you're doing renovation work to have different places, different times of day, out of the heat, ain't it? It sure is. Chin chin. Cheers. So, what I'm keen to maintain is an angle. Probably about 45 degrees if possible. It's not always possible, because as I pull stones out, it kind of comes away. Got a big stone here. Yeah, that can come away. But yeah, it's very important to have a slight angle on it to hold back any external forces coming this way. And I've noticed that there's quite a, a lot of root growing around this area. Um, so, yeah, all those people that say that ivy don't damage things, well, that is grown under a metre wide wall and come inside. Now I would imagine that before I put the membrane on the exterior of the wall, don't forget this is halfway underground at the back, I think a lot of water would have been coming through here because there was stone here, naturally finds its easiest route. There was a big pile of stone through here if you remember. So the water's probably run through. That's probably, the more I think about it, maybe the design of why they done that, because in one area, there was quite a lot of stone. So obviously, you know, if your wall is below ground level, you need the water to run through it. So, not literally, but you know, if there's any trapped moisture or, you know, anything like that, it would escape through this point here. It's the only reason why I can think of really is we're getting rid of that ivy. I've removed it from outside as well so shouldn't have no more problems with that. Okay we're gonna dig down our trench now and I'll explain to you why I use that gravel. Just check the level of the ground. Okay yep not too bad. So the top of the timber here is our finished floor level. Obviously you've got to allow the bedding and the thickness of the tile so 
we've still got a fair bit to dig out, plus our trench. Okay, let's check for level. Yep, that's okay for the time being. It will need levelling properly before I lay the floor, but we're somewhere close to where we need to be. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is mark along here and determine where the edge of our trench is going to be. Now the edge of the trench is very important because it creates a, f a lateral force for the edge of our foundation, our retaining wall. So got quite a big mass holding against the face of our retaining wall this side, which in turn supports the wall that side. So. digging and loosening up this here but just cutting it across and leaving it solid and undisturbed because this is the base of our trench so this clay is compacted down and it's absolutely solid there's no movement there at all so that is the perfect base foundation for the wall. Now it's important that when I lay down the geo membrane, which is this white material here, no dirt gets in there. Now the idea of digging this trench, laying this down, putting gravel in the bottom and then going over the top with another layer of geo, is it's going to create you know, a good sort of three or four inches of solid gravel. Now that way any moisture can pass through it freely, it won't hold it, and it should just dry out. Now don't forget I'm not putting any damp proof course in this area at all. I'm using the method that it just slowly evaporates out, doesn't hold anything back. Because as explained in previous videos, I think if I start tanking this back wall, I think there's still going to be moisture in the wall, it's not going to be able to come out and it will just travel to other areas so I'm banking on the age old tradition of just letting it breathe using materials where the vapour passes freely that way we don't back up with any any moisture time will tell if it works but you know as history tells us it does and these buildings are still standing so that's what I'm going on dirt now we'll just go underneath this membrane. Okay now for some gravel. Now I know with some heritage projects when it comes to laying floors and that they use like a glass bead no uh, damp proof membrane and that allows the floor to breathe so kind of working on the same principles I will buy a moisture meter and just regularly check it you know before I close everything off so that's down we can do the next stage now in the stonework we just dry lay the stones in first and make sure they're going to be the right dimensions 
I'll have another one over the top and in that way it will bridge the join. So these are just some of the stones that I've pressure cleaned ready to be used. As you can see they're all different shapes and sizes so lots of measuring and chipping away and cutting just to get them fit. Okay in the last video I spoke about lifting up the cap on top of the well to see the water level. I haven't looked down there for well over a year so let's go and check it out. Got me tools. Yeah. So much ivy everywhere. Okay, here goes. Why not to put me back out? <laughs> Shouldn't be too. Oh no, that's fairly easy. Hmm. Very interesting to see what the level is. Wow, that's pretty low. It's a beautifully made well, you know, all hand done. Granite stone, the same as a cottage. Probably a couple of hundred years old. There's a new plastic pipe in there, they used to have piped well water into the house, no longer connected. But I guess I would say that that is approximately seven to eight metres to the top of the surface of the water. Now your average domestic pump will probably struggle to lift anything higher than seven metres, so it's probably on the borderline. So if I did need water, it'll have to be a rope and a bucket. So I've done it that way before, so it's always good to have your own water source, without a doubt. So, yeah, there was no point in me refurbishing the hand pump. It's never been connected to this one, I don't think. But, um, yeah, I think it would have struggled to lift a seven to eight metre head of water up. So, yeah, I mean, I'm perfectly happy with its function with the solar, the solar pump. Okay, let's get this lid back on. I don't want any, uh, anyone falling down there. I do still have a big electric pump that pulled the water out of this well. So push comes to shove, I could always reconnect it. There we go. Brilliant. At least we've got some water in there. We probably do add a bit of colour in this area. Out of these times, some different plants about. Sam's gone out to get some more plants and some soil. I'll continue weeding this. What a surprise, you know, a little area transformed mates. Absolutely fantastic. So we look out of our living room window, first thing we see is this area here, so well worth doing. Okay got a bit of a job on my hands here. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.